Hi, I'm Ernesto Angara. I'm a solutions architect with DBT Labs. This video is for DBT Cloud administrators or people setting up DBT Cloud for the first time. We'll be covering how to set up your DBT project folder structure by domain. At this point, we assume that you've connected DBT Cloud to your data platform and Git provider and initialized your DBT project file structure. If you aren't already logged in, Go ahead and get into DBT Cloud and we'll head into the IDE by clicking develop. I'm on the main branch and I won't be able to make these edits. So we'll create a branch to make these edits. I'm going to call it feature setup file structure. Click submit. So in this video, we're focused on a domain model for organizing your folders. For my demonstration, I'll focus on three teams finance, sales, and marketing. We will set up a folder for each of those functions to lay the groundwork for teams, to build future models, and configure things like tests and documentation. Let's get started. We're going to go into our models folder, and we're going to create our three domain folders. I'll create folder, finance. There's something specific to Git. If I'm creating an empty folder and I'm trying to check it in, it won't, it won't be added unless I have a file in it. So I'm gonna add a git keep file so that we have the empty folder. Create my second folder, marketing. I might get keep file and we'll create my third folder for sales. Okay, perfect. We have our three domain folders. While we're in here, we want to give our projects a new name. If I go into dbt project, YAML file, you'll notice that the name is my new project. I might call it something else like internal analytics. And I need to do the same change down in line 35. I also have some example code that belongs to this example folder. You may want to remove that at a later time, but we're going to go ahead and remove some configuration for it. OK, perfect. We have our folders and we have our configuration changes made. One final piece to consider is updating your readme, maybe adding some links in here to some internal documentation. As your project evolves, you'll probably be adding to that file as well. Now we want to commit our work. Find the commit button at the top left and make sure you add a descriptive message like setup file structure. We'll commit the changes. We'll then want to open a pull request to get those changes merged. Creating a pull request will take me to GitHub. It shows me some of the changes that we made. I'll create the pull request. Normally, you'd add a description here that is going to help a reviewer. So. Adds our three departments. Normally, you'd have a reviewer. We're going to skip that, and we're going to create the pull request. And we'll go ahead and merge that pull request. OK, now my pull request has been merged. If I go back to the IDE, what I'll do is I'll change branch and go back to my main branch. I now have this message. You'll notice that my models folder doesn't have my new folders. I need to pull from remote because I'm in main. We merged our change. I pull from remote, and it's going to pull down the changes from our branch into the main branch, which everybody will be able to see. Excellent. OK. Um, if we want to confirm, we can go back to our Git repo. We can click on models, and we can see the models are there. 
And that's it. Um, as you start development, you will have a structure in place for developers to organize their models between staging and marks. Thank you.